Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. Um, LuxLung 3 and LuxLung 6 are the two randomized studies that have been done with a fat nib as the EGFR drug compared to chemotherapy. And they um, have a difference from all the other randomized studies done with Jafitnib or, and Erlotinib in that they actually also show a survival advantage. Uh, the other studies before showed progression-free survival but no overall survival advantage. And in both LuxLung 3 and LuxLung 6, these were two separate randomized studies that both took EGFR mutation patients and gave them either a fat nib first line or chemotherapy. The platinum doublet chemotherapy regimen was slightly different between the two. LuxLung 3 was cisplatin pemetrexid, LuxLung 6 was cisplatin gemcitabine. But um, in, in both studies, patients uh, with the exon 19 deletion EGFR mutation had a substantial survival advantage for the afatinib arm compared to the chemotherapy arm. And the median on that overall survival advantage was actually about a year difference. So this is something we rarely see in lung cancer to see a year different survival between two arms of a randomized trial. We unfortunately we have a paucity of prospective randomized data for the lesser mutations. Uh, LuxLung3 attempted to address uh, that issue. Uh, again, LuxLung3 was the prospective study comparing pem pemetrexid and cisplatin, a standard non-squamous chemo combination to afatinib. And that trial, unlike really all of its predecessors, included many of the lesser mutations. But because it was a heterogeneous group, it's very hard to draw any specific conclusions about an individual mutation. In aggregate, that group did not do as well uh, with afatinib as those whose tumors harbored exon 19 and 21. In fact, if you eliminate that group from analysis, the progression-free survival in the mutation-positive group on afatinib rose from roughly 11 and a half months to about 13.6 or 13.9 months. So it's clear that they're a different population. Uh, the how to handle uh, these individuals uh, therapeutically really depends on the nature of the mutation, whether we, they're deemed to be sensitizing or resistance. Uh, if they uh, look to be associated with therapeutic resistance, that group will receive chemotherapy up front. I will not deny them exposure, at least at some point, to a TKI, but it may be reserved for second or third line. Respect to overall survival, the benefits seen with the fatinib compared to chemo in both LuxLung 3 and LuxLung 6, uh, the two trials, uh, comparing afatinib to chemotherapy, uh, was not seen in Exxon 21. You still observed a major response and progression-free survival benefit, but the uh, survival benefit was not observed. If anything, the hazard ratio seemed to favor chemotherapy slightly, but it was not statistically significant. So uh, in that group, in uh, patients with Exxon uh, 21 mutations, I will still offer a TKI up front but not with the expectation necessarily uh, resulting in uh, improved survival. And I think what the uh, secondary analyses of the LuxLung 3 and LuxLung 6 trials have shown is that uh, really Exxon 19 and Exxon 21 are two different populations. Uh, they're both grouped under EGFR mutation, but uh, the survival expectations are different. And I think all studies going forward really need to stratify on the basis of the, uh, the nature of the EGFR mutation.